Time now for the skinny, and it appears the British invasion continues on CBS's Late Late Show. That's right. After announcing his departure four months ago, CBS now apparently finding a replacement for Craig Ferguson. The company's yet to release a statement, but The Wrap is reporting that... 35-year-old British actor James Corden, see him there, will be taking over the show from the 52-year-old Scott. Corden reportedly co-starred with Keira Knightley in Begin Again, and will star later this year with Meryl Streep and Johnny Depp in the fantasy thriller. Ferguson has been hosting the Late Late Show since 2005. Mm, changing the guard. I love, but I, I, you know, I really love Late. I think there's a really good mix of people at Late Night. We could see you there next, maybe? No, definitely not. <laughs> but Kimmel right. is great. He I is great. Kimmel. We love yeah. Jimmy Kimmel. All right, moving on, though. Another big move for a Hollywood A-lister. The season two of HBO's True Detective coming together now, set to join the cast, reportedly... Veteran comic actor Vince Vaughn. TV Line reporting that Vaughn is in preliminary talks with the network for a role on the neo-noir film. Another potential newcomer on the show, Mad Men's Elizabeth Moss. Ooh. True Detective's big innovation, of course, is to refresh the cast every year. Season one, however, will be a tough act to follow. If you watch the show, Woody Harrelson, Matthew McConaughey's Emmy-nominated performances. I haven't seen the show. I hear it's incredible. I, I mean, people just can't get enough, so I think we're gonna have to stop what we're doing in the middle of the night and take a break and watch. That's right. And speaking of award-winning performances, what do you get when you combine the very dignified Helen Mirren with twerking? Hmm, two words, Hasty Pudding. The Oscar-winning actress was honored earlier this year at Harvard's Hasty Pudding Awards and was goaded into showing off her imitation Whoa. of the infamous Miley Cyrus move. I think Miley She's would be proud. Got it going on. Oh my see it gosh. Again. Let's see that again. <laughs> <laughs> She knows what she's doing. I love it. She does it with such confidence. So, of course, she was asked to do a repeat performance yesterday on Live with Michael Strahan as she promoted her upcoming movie, <laughs> The Hundred Year Journey, out this Friday. I love that. I love Michael it. Michael doing it, too. Michael's pretty good. Oh. <laughs> All right. No twerking here. Are you sure? Uh, there it will be no moment. twerking here. But one mom <laughs> did figure out a secret weapon to calm down her little girl. Take a look. It turns out little Hazel is a huge fan of Katy Perry. Check it out. <laughs> I love the face. Hand. Look at the mouth. The hand the gestures. Hands is so cute. Cutie Hazel quickly claims, calms down, just by hearing Katy Perry's voice. That's pretty Dark horse. Incredible. Look at that. Look at the, the hand motions. And this video even caught Katy Perry's eye, tweeting that she's available for babysitting at $10 an hour and for Oreos. We know something about Oreos. All right, well, from cookies to birthday cake. Topping our list of celebrity birthdays today, Katherine Hicks, the mom on 7th Heaven, turns 63 years old. Director M. Night Shyamalan turns 44. And Soleil Moonfry, better known as Pumpkin Brewster. She's 38. And Beverly Hills 90210 actress Jennifer Lyons turns 37. Happy birthday to everybody today.